Welcome back for more Resident Evil 1 Remaster. It's time for Jill's campaign. Resident Evil. Sticking with normal mode, like climbing a mountain. Let's get started. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently beaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. this way. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp.
A dining room. Gunfire. I'm counting on you to investigate, Jill. Sure thing, Wesker. Got cold feet already? That's not like you. Better check this place out first. Got a ribbon. A star's custom automatic fires 9mm rounds. And unlike Chris, Jill doesn't drop hers out in the woods or something. Survival knife. A mid-sized, lightweight survival knife. Jill's personal protection knife used for close encounters. That's gonna be pretty worthless. Ink ribbon to be used with a typewriter. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, let's see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Got anything else to say? Barry. Guess not. Barry's examining the bloodstains. Well, let's go meet the first zombie. care of it. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. There's an alternate cutscene you can get here. When you talk about the blood stain, you just head right back to the uh, main hall after that without triggering the zombie it will still barge through the door the dialogue will change but Barry still shoots it it's just a little different this hall good idea all right I'll help you look for him I'm done Barry any luck Jill no nothing what's going on around here I can't figure it out same here Chris and now Wesker there's not much we can do we can search for him separately I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. 
You got the lockpick. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Lockpick, a tool for unlocking most simple locks. And since Jill has this, she will not have to pick up the old keys to open those five doors like Chris did. She, however, will have to slot the lighter in order to use that, whereas Chris always uh, had it. Now, despite saying uh, she would go the other way towards the art room, we're actually going right back into the dining room. zombie that chewed on Kenneth apparently wasn't stopped by three magnum rounds. In the alternate cutscene, Barry only shoots it twice to take it down, but either way, it moves over there. But that's actually out of our way, because we want to come this way. The corpse of your comrade, Kenneth. It looks like he's holding something. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. Here we have pistol bullets, two green herbs. There's a corpse collapsed on the floor like it's an instant death. What the hell happened in this mansion? Handgun magazine. A clip for the handgun. 15 rounds of 9mm. A herb that grows wild in this region. Don't have to worry about that corpse, it never gets back up. This one over here, however, will get back up later, and that's a crimson head. Let's combine these up. And make sure of two green herbs. And make sure of three green herbs. Okay. Time to see if I can get past these zombies without getting grabbed. And I already triggered that guy. Well, time to reset him. He's easier to get past when he's not trying to, uh, or I mean, when he's not yet triggered. Try again. There we go. Will you take the golden arrow? Yeah. I'm not going to worry about reading tutorial text. Will you take the handgun magazine? Yeah. Try not to get grabbed by the zombie right next to it. You unlocked it. lure the zombie this way but compared to Chris she has far less health she doesn't shoot as well which means less headshots and she runs a little bit slower here's a dagger a tutorial text she does seem to get more headstones though so Chris has a better chance for uh, headshots and a low chance for head stomps. With her, it's the opposite. 
You'd rather have the headshots, though, because you have to get chomped on in order to do a stomp. Beating him to the door means I don't have to run all the way around. I'll push that down there, but we won't need it for a while. Now, since she already has the pistol, and we have more inventory slots, which is another one of Jill's perks, we will go ahead and shoot these guys. These two zombies, for whatever reason, will not crimson. Back up. Yeah, I think he's done on that one. When they get back up and then fall again with one shot, you know they barely had any health left and they're done. Take our shotgun rounds. He's gonna get back up. hard to tell if the blood came out or not, but I guess he's done. A tome engraved with the picture of an angel. There's an indentation in the shape of an arrowhead. I didn't actually examine this yet, did I? Golden arrow. The arrowhead looks like it can be removed. Arrowhead. The arrowhead is made from pyridot, sometimes referred to as a poor man's emerald. Shove that in there. If you're only going to play one of the two characters, you probably want to go with Jill. She's more convenient because of the lockpick and extra inventory space. The book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. Will you take the Book of Curses? Yeah. There's a key embedded on the back cover. Will you remove it? Yes. You got the mansion key. Book of Curses. The Four Mask. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. If you're going to play both characters, though, uh, I would just suggest going with Chris first, because he's the soldier. And once Jill spoils you with those extra inventory slots... You're not going to enjoy Chris as much after that. Take a look at our key, mansion key. There's an engraving of a sword. It's the sword key. You use the sword key. That was one of its doors right there. Now, if you look at the doors without the key, it'll say it's locked and then tell you what engraving is on it. Sword, armor, helmet. So that was a sword door. There's four of them. Next one's going to be right in here. Here's the sword key. That's number two. Although, we don't need to go that way yet. We will grab our map. We don't really.
really need it, but it's an item. There's nothing, there's no danger to picking it up, so why not? There's a map of the mansion first floor. Take it, yeah. You can see all of the rooms. You got the map of the mansion first floor. I wanna shove this thing back. Now this closet zombie is one of the hardest ones in the game to try and get around without being grabbed. I just really lucked up when I recorded it with uh, Chris. Because I can almost never get around this guy without getting grabbed. However, you get a dagger in here, so the worst thing that could happen is you use the dagger to get back out. You're not really losing anything. We may as well try. Will you take the dagger? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Ah. Wow, I did it. So I managed to look up on that with Chris and Jill. <laughs> we'll take it. Barry. Oh, Jill. Got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. You got the acid shells. What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Gave us some acid grenades. Or shells. Shells for the grenade launcher. They are filled with sulfuric acid. Now this cutscene here that we just got... Um, it is shared with two others. The game will only play one of those three cutscenes, whichever one you trigger first. Ideally, you would get this one, because he gives you acid shells in it. In the other two cutscenes, he won't give you anything. In the second one, he will save you from the shotgun trap. So now, having gotten this cutscene, he will not save me from the trap, because it only play one of the cutscenes. But I can get out of that trap on my own. We want the acid shells. The third cutscene is with Forrest on the balcony. Again, you just get some dialogue there. I want to get past this guy. We're going to the kitchen. We don't really need to go this way yet, but... You use the sword key. It will ding the uh, third door for this key. Got a dagger here. There's no old key because Jill doesn't pick those up. We don't have to worry about those at all. You'll notice the body uh, here is missing. Chris has two zombies to deal with here in the kitchen. Jill only has one, which is the one that'll ambush us when we come back out. If 
put you in a slightly worse position with her, though. So, I would suggest just running around the table. With Chris, you have two zombies, but you're in a better position to run by the first one to get to the door. But if you do get grabbed, you have daggers now. I gotta get past him again. Well, that's really lucky. He's facing the wall. If they're facing the wall like that, you can run past their back. If, however, they are facing towards you or away from you, you'll get grabbed. So, you just bait the grab. Then you can get past them. Now let's see if I can avoid being vomited on like I was with Chris. Use the sword key. There's no further use for this key. Discard it? Yeah. Not on the stairs yet. Alright, come on. Use the lock. Here's a battery for Jill's stun gun. Broken shotgun. We're going to need that because Barry won't save us from the trap now. But that's fine. We'd rather have the acid grenades. Another ribbon in here. Still plenty of kerosene left. I don't have the canteen yet for that. But that's okay. We'll be getting that soon. Broken shotgun. It's broken. It can't be fired. Maybe there's another use for this. Let's see if we can sneak past this guy now. Yeah, he starts out down here, but then he walks up the stairs. He's a patrolling zombie, I guess. Okay. Go ahead and dump this. Start organizing our stuff a little bit. We're actually going to keep these. We want our pistol, bullets, and broken shotgun. Or, well, I mean the broken shotgun. We'll leave the shells, acid knife. Special instructions for the disposal of dead bodies. We have new information regarding those beings. They may appear to be dead, but in fact, they are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are two known methods to cease their resurrection. One, incineration. Two, destruction of the hood. If further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, to those of you who still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You'll still need something to light it with. 
which you'll need to find yourself. So that's our uh, note that appears in whichever of the two save rooms you go to first. And a dagger. By stabbing with this dagger, you'll be able to protect yourself and escape from hostile situations. It also does some damage. Stun gun. Which has catfish on it. A self-defense item. You'll be able to take down an assailant, leaving him disoriented momentarily. It also does damage. It's basically an upgraded dagger. Okay. Time to plant our first save. our ribbons. I actually want that in the middle. So we'll shove these other items up. There are several kinds of serum here. Many of them are of a sickly color. We'll have to run to that later. Just gonna wait a moment for that zombie to head up. Jill has managed to not get vomited on by that guy like Chris did. This zombie uh, tries to be clever, moving from the south side to the north side so that now he's right next to the doors. <laughs> The zombie in here, however, has not figured out how to climb over the dresser or shove it out of the way. And he never will, so he's always going to be in there. This is the L corridor, and remember, you only want to enter this corridor from the south. Don't enter it from the north, or two angry dogs are going to burst through the windows to try to eat you. Pistol bullets. There is no particular need to go south through the corridor, so... Just don't go that way. You use the lockpick. You take the chemical to use on plants, yes. We will also take our two green and one red herbs. herb that grows wild in this region. I think all the herbs have the same text. Okay, it's time to deal with these dogs. So, the outside boiler, visit one is safe. On visit two, one dog will jump the fence. On visit three, the other dog will jump the fence. We will go ahead and get rid of them now so they don't bother us later.
stab that some bitch. I think he's done. I'm actually okay with that because dagger does a fair amount of damage and using that can save you on bullets, so. It's your turn. I was almost tempted to just let him reach me and go for another dagger stab, but oh well. I already got one. probably remember this room. Let's see what happens in Jill's version. It's full of dirty water. Remove the plug? Yeah. So, unlike Chris, she just stomps the some bitch and doesn't have to deal with him at all. Will you take the dagger? Yes. So that's another zombie that Chris gets or Jill gets to skimp on because the kitchen was missing one and this one got cutscene killed, so he doesn't really count. So uh Jill has skipped two zombies now that Chris had to deal with. But he does get flash grenades, so he can just blow them up when he feels like it. Jill doesn't have that option. Will you take the dagger? Yes. Some ribbons over here. And then, will you take the shotgun? Yes. Now we can't get out of here without being smashed, so put the broken shotgun on there. Now, remember, since I got the uh, cutscene in the main hall where Barry gives me the acid rounds, you will not save me from this trap. But I would rather have the acid rounds. I don't need him to get me out of the trap. I can do that anyway. So I suggest getting your acid rounds and then just picking up the broken shotgun and getting out of the trap yourself. There's also a third cutscene that conflicts with those that's on the uh, east balcony where Forrest is. So whichever one of these triggers first, that'll be the only one you get and it won't play the other two cutscenes. But yeah, take the acid. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, don't have to worry about burning that one. They're gonna gang up on me. Now 
nice if one of you would fall over. Alright, both of you have fallen over. That's good. The blood's coming out of this one. He's done. I clipped the gun. That's okay. I'll just stab the bitch. You want to get back up? You want some more? <laughs> okay. I know you can reload in the inventory, but I don't like doing that. I see that as cheesing. <laughs> so. I might do it if there's no enemies around, because then it doesn't really matter, but if I'm in combat, I think that's cheap to just be able to pause the enemy and then magically reload the gun, you know, avoiding the danger that you should have been in by taking the time to reload it like you realistically would. I don't do that. And that actually got me grabbed, so... gonna put this up here as well but that's okay that's what we have daggers for bank the shotgun for now here's our canteen we need to start burning bodies you take the fuel canteen yes there's still plenty of kerosene left refill your fuel canteen yes you refilled your fuel canteen with kerosene Fuel canteen. There's still some kerosene left in it. You'll notice, however, that we don't have the lighter. So we need to go and get it and then come back. That's okay. We've got plenty of time before they turn. It's actually in this room right here. However, there's no knob on this door. You can't go through. So I need to go through the next hallway. That has two zombies in it. You unlocked it. But only one of them is in my way. There you go. I'll be back for you guys, don't worry. Will you take the dog whistle? Yes. A crumbled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mutt is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn thing without risking a serious mauling. Which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer once hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item you, that you've always wanted to get hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for both of us. John Tolmark. Pistol bullets. We're going to need more of those. An open journal. The pages are blank. There's our lighter. That's what we need. Dog whistle. By blowing into it, it generates frequencies only audible to the ears of dogs. You can call a dog with this whistle. A lighter. Words are carved on it. Don't play with fire. Love, Jessica. Oh, so this lighter is actually different than Chris's. I forget what the text on Chris's said. I don't know if that was unique to him or uh, just generic. But it says, Love, Jessica. So I guess that's Jessica Trevor's lighter? Let's see. I don't see any uh, engraving. It just says, Lighter of <laughs> Lighter of Lighter. Oh, well. A 
An open journal. The pages are blank. Well, I'm trying to get the other thing. Here we go. Botany. Uses of medicinal herbs. It is a well-known fact that there are exist many plants that are credited with medicinal healing powers. Since ancient times, mankind has been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we will sample three herbs that are a native of the Arkley Mountains and briefly outline each of their medicinal qualities. Each herb has a distinct color and a distinct medicinal quality. The green herb recovers physical strength. The blue herb neutralizes natural toxins. However, the red herb has no real effect by itself. We have found that mixing green and red herbs results in a magnified effect. We will outline the effects of red herbs when mixed with other herbs when we have more data. Meanwhile, feel free to experiment on your own, for true knowledge is only acquired through experience. Alright, I think that's it for this room. Let's head back. We got zombies to burn. I guess I'll burn this one first. Oh yeah, I gotta use this. Alright, those zombies are toasted. We need to refuel because we got some more upstairs to deal with. Yes. I could box the whistle, but I have plenty of inventory space with this lady. You don't have to fumble with your stuff as much with her. I think I'm going to run past the zombie to the corner first and see if I can shoot him down. He might reach me before then, though. There we go. Is that a fucking headshot? <laughs> well, he's done. You take the wooden mount? Yeah. He's around the corner. fell. You want to chomp? Come on, get it. Nope. And I was almost tempted to just take the dagger stab at that point. Once you've hit, shot them a bunch of times, yeah, just let them get to you and stab them. Well, that guy is toasted already. So we've tapped out our first fuel tank. Still got one left. I might put that on the zombie and the tea room hallway just because I got the extra fuel an unlit fireplace wooden mount there's nothing unusual I'm trying to see if the text will change I guess not well, light it up. See, in order to do things like this, GL has to actually slot the lighter, or Chris always had it on him. There's a map of Mansion's second floor. Take it? Yes. There we go. 
You got the map of the mansion second floor. We could go ahead and start using the shotgun, but we're trying to get all the mileage we can out of the pistol. Which I could do a better job of if I just let the zombies grab me after putting a bunch of bullets in them first, because then the dagger will just finish them off. Alternately, you could just let them grab you two or three times and keep stabbing them, but you're not going to have enough daggers for that. We have enough for at least one more zombie. And since I've got the fuel, I know which one I'm going for. I wasn't planning to deal with this guy right now, but I got the fire, so why not? You want a nibble? Come on, have a bite. Alright, I'm just gonna let him grab me. There you go. You chew on that. He should be done. What, am I not close enough? Or is he just not finished? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Down to our last 11 bullets. But those pistol bullets to work. Going to run past the stairs, zombie, one more time. I could have just shot that one instead of shooting this one, but there's two zombies over there. I could just run past it again. Come on. That's a fairly easy one to get by. If it does get me, then that just means I'll be vomited on and not take that much damage anyway. There we go. Alright, we are about out of pistol bullets, so it's time to get out the shotgun. I'm gonna keep these two. That's good for now. Have to start using the shotgun for a little while. I think I'm gonna plant my next save. Use the ink ribbon, yes. Overwrite that, I don't care.
box our ribbons. I'll be with you guys in a moment. Just want to grab some more fuel. Gonna tap half of this tank now. Tanks have four fuel on normal mode. You carry two. You went ahead and turned around. It's okay, I got something for you. your turn. Is that it? Let's see if I can burn him. Oh, one shot. If they don't die on that first headshot, though, you could just let them grab you. Try to go for a headstorm if they're face down, or just let them grab you and take a dagger, and that should finish them off. You use the lockpick. Got some dogs to deal with here, but first, we will go ahead and open the door on the other side, just in case I ever want to use it. You unlocked it. It's locked from this side. Okay. You blew the dog whistle. one. Okay, he's done. You could just try to grab that collar and run out, but if you come back for those ground herbs over there, the dog's still going to be lingering around. I figure I'll just go ahead and shoot it. Will you take the collar? Yeah. You have some herbs over here you can use a few times, but you can't carry them with you. You have to come back out here to get them. That's why opening that other door can be useful. Collar. There's a switch. Will you press it? Yes. A coin was hidden inside the collar. A coin. There's nothing unusual. I'll turn it around. It changed into the shape of a key. Imitation of a key. Shaped like a key, but lacks the rigidity to be used as one. This is the fake armor key. Probably don't need this dog whistle anymore. Discard it, yes. The fake armor key will not open the doors, but we need it to get the real armor key. You unlocked it. This door was also locked from this side. Since I have another fuel, I think I'll go ahead and burn a zombie in here. See, when the first shot didn't do the job, I just stabbed him to finish him off. So I didn't have to shoot him again. Now with the fake armor key, this crimson head will now get up. You could just run past him, but then he's going to be stuck in this hallway from now on. Come on, I know you got more fight in you. Is that it? Yeah, I can see the blood coming out.
The other zombie can wait. May whoever takes this emblem find peace and death. Will you take the mansion key? Yes. Now we'll just give it the fake key. Mansion key. Turn it around. There's an engraving of armor. It's the armor key. Armor key has seven doors on it. Surprise zombie. He shows up after you get the real armor key and come back in here. But we can worry about him later as well. Pick up some more fuel. Okay, this tank is now empty. You use the armor key. There's the first door. Battery sitting right here. There's a room that we don't really need to go into with Jill, but we will. You take the handgun magazine, yeah? Keeper's Diary. May 9th, 1998. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. May 10th. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. May 11th. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up. Scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there had been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. May 12th. I've been wearing the damn space suit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. May 13th. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. May 14th. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. May 16th. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? May 19th. Fever gone but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. May 21st. Itchy, itchy Scott came, ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Four, slash, slash. Itchy, tasty. 
Now, I don't know if I'll be able to get past these zombies without being grabbed once or twice, but we will try. Here's a battery. Ah, uh, Jill. <laughs> I just lucked up there. Jill decided to stop right next to the zombie and look at some clothes before running out the door. You unlocked it. This is another door that was locked from this side. Uh, hey, I still got out, so we'll take it. Alright. Use the armor key. That was just another door. But we don't need to go in there yet. Now we want that blue gem that we left on the floor. We take the blue gemstone, yes. Blue gemstone, it's beautifully cut and polished. Well, that room... If you can just run around that first guy, you can follow the corner to uh, get past the second one. Because he'll be near the bed, so you can run around his back. It's actually a bit easier than it looks, that one. The closet one is still the fucking worst. There's an inscription here. A tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. I have blue light. The yellow light will have to wait. Will you take the shotgun shells? Yes. Let's move on. Our next goal is to burn out all the doors on this key and to get the death mask for the graveyard. Use the armor key. That's number three. The beast in the order I'm doing them. Got a dagger on the bench. has given up the ghost. Looks like he's been dead for a while. Uh, okay, we pick that up. Thank you. You take the grenade launcher? Yes. Grenade launcher. Grenades are already loaded. So, it's got regular grenades in it. There's three types. The regular ones are basically just upgraded shotgun rounds. Now, there's a cutscene with Barry here, but it's the third one that is shared uh, with the, the other two, so... If you already got one of those, he won't be here. But all you get off of that one is some dialogue, so that is perhaps the worst one. 
So the first one is in the main hall where it gives you the acid rounds, and you want that one because you get that ammo. The second one is him saving you from the shotgun trap, but you can do that on your own. And the third one is just there with Forrest. And you get some dialogue. You only get one of those three cutscenes. So I go with the one that gives me acid grenades on it. I like how every time I run through I can hear that zombie just shambling around in there. But if you never trigger him in the first place, you won't. I oh, almost forgot to mention that, uh... On the behind forest, on the east end of the path, back there, there's two green herbs. But if you run back there to the end, forest will attack you. And I don't need the healing, so I just don't worry about those herbs. Time for a zombie ambush. Got a whole pack of these sons of bitches. Might want to get out and some stun grip. Stun to make sure I actually kill them. There's one. There's four of them here. Guess that second one's not getting back up. He would have done it already. Is it gonna let me get a triple burn on these bastards? That's how we do it. Headshot and a triple burn. I think I'll use the other one on that guy that's in the hallway. Then we'll just come back and pick this up. Or pick up the uh, fuel. But that the dagger stab after a shotgun shell is not a guaranteed kill. It's just a very good chance. But if you follow it up with the stun gun, that will finish them off because it does more. That's another headshot. Okay then. <laughs> Five zombies with one fuel, I'll take it. Running out of shotgun shells, but we'll manage. I left you some bullets in the room on the right. Feel free to use them if you manage to get yourself in trouble. Barry. So in Chris's campaign, it's Wesker that leaves the notes and supplies, but with Jill, it's Barry. left us some good stuff. Some fire. Alright, we're just gonna bank everything for the time being. Put this here. I don't have any shotgun shells. <laughs> Everything for the time being. 
All we need right now is the key. Now that fire, the fire shells are really good because they have a good chance of just one hit killing a zombie and they burn it. But if they don't kill it, then the fire wears off. So you would then have to shoot it again. But usually, one fire grenade and they're done. It burns the corpse, too. Alternately, you could shoot them with something else first. Or just let them grab you and either stab them or stun gun them. And then afterwards, burn them so that it gets the killing hit and it burns the body. You use the armor key. That's our fourth door. herb. You take the first aid box, yes. Open it up. A first aid spray was inside. Nothing in the drawers or on the shelves. You can barely see a green herb back in the corner. Here's a ribbon. I am going for all the cutscenes and notes. Unless I accidentally missed one somewhere. But with those berry cutscenes, you only get one of three, so I just picked the best one. You use the lockpick. Ah. Jill. Barry, I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Anyway, you should read this. Researchers will. A letter is slipped inside. The top part of the letter is torn off. The rest of the letter is legible. Am um, I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I am infected, and there is no cure for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand... Please know that I'm sorry, Martin Crackhorn. What do you make of it? Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. You have a way with understatements. Where's the part that's torn off? Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part and somebody didn't want anyone to see it. Let's continue our investigation. What's interesting is that in Chris's version of the campaign, the entire note is there. So Jill was only able to read part of it because most of it was torn out. Hmm, I wonder if Barry did that. You take the bee specimen, yes. Assorted fishing lures. You take the lure of a bee. Collection of insect specimens. There's a switch underneath. Press it. No, not right now. I don't think it matters. Need to get the hook. You take the fish hook, yes. Now it's this is a pretty simple puzzle. You just need to take the lure and the fish hook. It's a lure shaped like a bee. There's no hook on it. It's a hook for fishing. We want to combine these. It's a giant bee specimen for mounting. It is well preserved. So basically, the two bees were on the wrong walls, and the lure was missing the hook. So you take them off, put the hook on the lure, then you put the completed uh, lure on this shelf 
with the other ones. And no, we actually want that on there. I was just trying to show you. You see the others? Now you got the B one on there. Those are lures. This one over here are the specimens. So we just gotta put the B specimen over here with the others. Once you got it fixed, press the button. Take the wing crest, yes. And then run back out of here. Don't need to bother with the giant hornet. this wind crest for a little while, so we're just gonna dump it in the bank, or box. Take back out our pistol bullets. I want the uh, fuel. We have three greens. Let's combine these up. Go ahead and reload the gun, too. to keep that key. And here's a red. But I had three greens anyway. Let's see. Just trying to organize a little bit. You can see I have plenty of yelling. So I'm not going to bother running down the balcony to get those two herbs and have Forrest try and cut me off on the way back. You can also get free healing from the other balcony with the dogs you already killed. Unless you just grabbed the collar and ran out. But because of the free healing, you may as well go ahead and kill the second one too. I think that's the middle. No, it's one slot up. Here we go. Try and put the regular ones in there. So, the regular grenades are basically just shotgun rounds in the grenade launcher. They probably do a bit more damage. But because Joe gets the grenade launcher, she gets less ammo for the other guns. Uh, slightly less for the pistol and magnum, but considerably less for the shotgun. But the regular grenade launcher rounds basically are shotgun shells. I think they're just a little bit better. And then she's got fire, which is really nice for the zombies. And also the giant spiders are weak to fire. And acid. We got the, uh, the giant snake and the final boss being weak to that. So hold on to those. Okay, just leave these things up here. We will use those grenades later. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. Let's do that. We're gonna plant our next save. Box our ribbons. Doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Go through any way, yes. This is the door you can only go through south a few times before it breaks and becomes a north only door. I'm gonna use up one of the charges though, because where I wanna go next is right here. You use the armor key. That was our fifth door on it. Brings us to the large gallery. 
In here we have glass paintings with two sides and light switches on both sides to change the colors. A picture of a Valiant wearing a bracelet. It's set in yellow stained glass. There's a switch here. Press it. Yes. A picture of the Valiant has turned orange. We don't need these two switches. You don't have to worry about the snarling crows. They won't bother you unless you screw up the puzzle. This one is a saint wearing a crown. Yellow stained glass. Press the switch. Saint has turned green. Sage wearing a necklace. Red stained glass. Press the switch. Sage has turned purple. Now we simply want the colors of those uh, paintings to match the one back here. Lisa, protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. You notice the colors. Green, purple, and orange. So make those match these, and you're good. There's a switch at the bottom of the picture. Press it. Yes. If they match, the wall opens. If they don't match, the crows try to eat you. You take the death mask, yes. That is our first mask. You use the luck pick. This opens a new route to the uh, crypt back here, but it was locked from this side. And you need an old key or the lock pick to open it. Our current goal is to get all the death masks and bring them to the crypt. Use the armor key. There's door six. Use the armor key again. There's no further use for this key. Discard? Yes. That was door seven. Here in the armor room, we've got some statues. We need to push all these back up against the wall. There's a certain order to do it. If you press them in the wrong order, they'll just start moving back forward. Uh, nothing bad will happen unless you hit the switch while any of the statues are forward. So just don't do that until you have them all back. The right combination, though, is top right, bottom left, bottom right. When they're all back, then it's safe to hit the switch. Woe to those who disturb my sleep. There's a switch here. Press it. Yes. If it's right, the safe opens. If it's wrong, the room fills with poison gas. A mysterious box. You take the jewelry box, yes. Jewelry box. There's a switch. Will you press the switch? Yes. You'll notice that half of this moon here on the front is lighting up. So when you first examine it, and just hit the switch without turning it, it's hitting one of two switches, which is on the front here. So now we need the other one on the back. We turn it around where the brackets are. We hit the switch here. Then it opens. There is a mask inside. Death mask. Now we got two. I'm going to run these to the crypt so that we can drop them off. No zombies here to bother me since I killed them. A 
stone statue with a hole where the eye should be. Stone statue with the holes where the eyes, nose, and mouth should be. That's this one. It's a death mask without eyes, nose, or mouth. Stone statue with a hole where the nose should be. Stone statue with a hole where the mouth should be. Death mask without a mouth. Nothing bad happens if you try and put them on the wrong statue, they just won't fit. Now I will head to that other locked door. Richard! What happened? You're wounded! This whole place is a killing zone. There are monsters. What did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. It's now Jill's turn to go get the serum to save Richard. She brings up the map to show you where it is over in the West Wing uh, safe room. We just need to go get it and bring it back before Richard dies. We do have a time limit here. But with no enemies up in the way to bother us, it's pretty easy. Jill does run a little bit slower than Chris, but we have plenty of time. Which, you don't have to save him, but saving him gets you the assault shotgun for both characters. And he'll also give you the radio meaning you get it a little bit earlier than you would have gotten it otherwise. Because if you don't get his, you'll get a different one later. But all that does is get you uh, a few little cutscenes of the character using the radio when they hear someone on out. We don't really care about that, but we'll take the gun. But we're playing good characters, so we're going to save him regardless, if we can. Will you take the serum? Yes. I don't think I inspected it last time, but there's just enough for one dose. There you go. They don't let you pick this up unless you need to. It'd be nice if you could pick it up in advance. And then when Richard's like, I need serum, you just pull it out and you'd be like, oh, you mean this serum? But they don't let you do that. If you do pick it up for Richard and then don't deliver it to him and he dies, then you'll be sitting on the serum, and if you need it for yourself, you can then guzzle it without having to run and pick up another one. But otherwise, if you give him this one, then you get poisoned. You need another one. 
Or if you just never pick this one up and let Richard die. But we'll save him. It's not hard to do. Here, Richard. I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill, here's my radio. Take it. I'm... <sighs> Does it ever not hurt? I'm okay. The others... And since Jill doesn't have enough strength to carry him back to the safe room like Chris did, uh, Richard's just gonna have to wait here. But, the upside is that while Richard is in here, the zombie isn't. So, Jill basically doesn't have to deal with that zombie. Because Richard will be in here until the last time we need to run through the room on our way out. And at that point, we'll just run past the damn thing. Unlike Chris, who would have to run past it several times, so it's better to just kill it. So that's one more zombie that Jill can skimp on. Put our stun gun up here. Yeah, I figured he would grab me. Want some more? Okay, now he's done. Torch that body. Stun gun does more damage than a knife. I want to make sure we would kill him. The one in here, though, we don't need to kill, so if I get grabbed, I'd rather lose the dagger than a battery. Handgun bullets. Back here in the corner, it's too dark to see much of anything. That's your clue. An unlit candlestick. There's another clue. So yeah, Jill has to bring the lighter to do this. Well, Chris does too, but he always has it. She has to slot it. You take the handgun magazine, yes. Gets us more bullets. Want to poke your head in there just far enough to see the zombie? Then get out. Take the musical score, yes. This is another easy one. Since you can circle around the room, he should never get to you. Up here. It's locked. An emblem of a shield is carved into the lock. That's where the giant snake is that chomped on Richard. We're gonna have to face it soon, but at the moment I don't have the key.
Okay, what I'm gonna do now is run round. That way I can get more fuel. I'm going to want it. And my remaining fuel is at the old boiler. So it's time for a gas run. Tapping out that tank now. Now remember, we don't want to go south into that corridor. So we run out either of the other two paths. We can go upstairs, or we can just run through the large gallery again. Got half of this tank tap now. And we'll be burning this fuel soon. Then I will go back and tap what's left in it. if you could just pick up the entire tanks and throw them into the safe box. But, oh well. I actually forgot to pick up the emblem, so I need to go back. Turn around. We're gonna need this. You take the emblem, yes. Now we'll go to the bar. Now Jill, unlike Chris, can play the piano, so we don't have to get Rebecca to come do it for us. She's actually not in Jill's campaign. But we got Barry instead, who was missing it from Chris's. Musical score. The beginning and the last sections of the music are missing. Combine these. We need the slot. You take the musical score, yes. Musical score is titled Moonlight Sonata. We need to combine these. Sheet music. Titled Moonlight Sonata. But I guess now it's completed. Come use it on the piano.
Trevor's Diary. November 24, 1967. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family, I hope they're all right. I've decided to escape. Lisa, Jessica, I pray you are safe. November 26. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one that Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the day my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said that they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coats said something like, Most likely your family is already. I pray for their safety. November 27th. Somehow I managed to get out of that room, but getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all the booby traps, tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try and remember for my own sake. Will you take the gold emblem? Yes. And that traps us in here. But we can give it the fake. It's galled all around the outer edges due to frequent fitting. Give it the fake one so we can get back out. If you forgot to pick that up, you could just put the gold one back on there. You can still go back and get the other one. All turned around. Uh, gold emblem. Scout all around the outer edges due to frequent fitting. So, we basically just switch these. We'll put the fake one where the real one was hidden. And we put the real one back here in the dining hall where it needs to go here a picture of two knights striking each other the short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight while the long sword has pierced the head of the other that's a clue of what you need to do with this clock we need to make the clock hands match the picture when the two have run each other through the path to your destiny will be open Looks like you can turn the gears inside the clock. Try it? Yes. Turn which gear? The small one is actually already where it needs to be. I want to turn the large one. Which direction? Doesn't matter, just do it twice. Keep turning? Yes. Large gear. Which direction? There, now it matches the picture. And it's actually 6 p.m. Well, I think the large gear turns the small piece, and the small gear turns the large one. But just make it match the picture, and it will open up this. You take the mansion key, Yos. an engraving of a shield. Well, we know where that goes. But before we go there, I think I will get the other death mask here. We 
to free up a slot. So we're running back to our box. Bunch of running around right now. Never have to worry about that corpse there. It will not get back up. Actually had a red in there, but oh well. We need our chemical. We also want to bring uh, some bullets and fire. We will have some zombies to deal with. Four zombies left, four fuel left, so we're doing well. And also have fire grenades, but it'll be nice if we don't have to use them right now. Got a nasty plan over here, but it's blocking something we need, so let's get rid of it. Lid on this water pump is open. Pump the water? Well, not yet. Put the chemical in there. We're about to poison this thing. Now we'll pump the water. Which way will you turn the switch? We want red, which it's already on. If you put it to green, We'll poison all these herbs. We don't want that. Well, three of these is going to equal a full heal. Another death mask. We take the death mask, yes. All right, zombies. That's a headshot. He's gone. Might be able to finish him off with a dagger. Fell. You want to chomp? He's going to get back up. The creepy music is still playing. How many daggers I got? Three? Yeah, just take it. See, the music stops. <laughs> you know he's you know he's done. That left me with an extra fuel, so I am tempted to now go back and burn this other guy. We got two zombies left now. One fuel, two more in the tank. So Let's kill the guy shambling around up here. He's over there. Well, that's good. One shot? That can't be it. Three shots. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's just a weak zombie.
still got another zombie left in the hallway. Or mirror corridor. But I need to go get the rest of my fuel for that one. Now we got two double greens. With a red we could have combined them with. Not putting much thought into these herbs, am I? But oh well, we got plenty of healing. That's all that really matters, isn't it? Actually, I might just go ahead and switch to the shotgun, but... Oh well. It's time to go get the rest of my fuels. So I'm gonna do another lap around. fuel and use it to burn the last zombie that we're going to kill in the mansion. Uh, I don't, I'm not referring to any of the uh, easy ones that we're avoiding. And then I think after that we'll go face the giant snake and finish the crypt. Just doing laps around the entire mansion today. This will be the last of the fuel, but there's only one zombie left that we want to burn. So that actually leaves us with a spare. Tap it out. I tapped out all the fuel now. I guess I could just go ahead and face the giant snake now, and deal with the zombie afterwards. That might be a bit more exciting. But I'm gonna do both either way. This will actually be a little bit more dangerous as Jill, since she runs slower, and we have to be in the room with it much longer if we want to get the assault shotgun. Just like with Chris, we don't want to fight the thing, but we have to be in there with it for a while. We'll see if we can do this without getting chomped on, because then we'll need the poison, or, or uh, I mean the serum for the poison. You use the shield key. There's no further use for this key. Discard it, yes. Alright, here we go. 
There's no shotgun shells in here for Jill, so the only thing in here is the mask. Well, and also Richard's assault shotgun, if you saved him. Death mask, yes. Alright. Wanna follow the snake. Try to stay behind it. It actually turned. Assault shotgun, and we are good to get the fuck out of here. If you get chomped on, though, you're gonna need the serum. That'll have one of two outcomes. With Jill, it's just dependent on your health. If you're very low health, Barry will save you. There's the zombie, by the way. But, you see, she could just run past it. And that's our last time running through that room, so we don't have to care about that zombie. But if you're very low health with the poison when you run out of that room, uh, Barry will rescue her. If you're high health and poisoned, then Jill will have to go get her own serum. That just means running to the, uh, safe room to go get it. Okay. So at this point, we want to go to the crypt to dump all the mask. But I am going to finish off the last zombie that we want to kill in this place before we leave. I could have gotten to it from the second floor dining hall, but that door would put me right next to the sumbitch. So we want to come from the other direction. That way I'm at the opposite side of the hallway. Could go for a uh, shotgun headshot. Pull out a fire grenade, but we have the fuel. Should remember this zombie, it's the one down here. He's gotta be low health. Just stab the son bitch. coming out, yeah. I think that was eight shots. After that point, they can't have much health left. Alright. Now we will finish our business here.
will uh, box our fuel and lighter for a while. All we need at the moment are these. Want to empty out the bullets left in the old shotgun. Then we will switch to the um, assault one. I do recommend clearing out that mirror corridor, because later on you will run through there again. So, I've cleared out all the good zombies that are in our way, and left the ones that really aren't. Jill was basically able to skimp on three that Chris killed, and she just didn't have to worry about. Okay. It's the only statue of the whole where the eye should be. Death mask without eyes. left is a hole where the nose should be. Death mask without a nose. Okay, it's time for evil to awaken. And then I will help put it right back to sleep. I'm still fine though, apparently. Got one round left. Managed to get slashed. Take the shotgun shells, yeah. That's a pretty easy guy too, so I'm embarrassed getting slashed on him. There's a switch, press it. There's something here. You take the stone and metal object, yes. That is what we need. But, better to get slashed on by him than chopped on by the giant fucking snake, so... We'll move on. never going to be a perfect run. We're heading to the east safe room to plan our next save. Preparing to leave the mansion. We'll take our pistol. We'll carry the old shotgun if it has any ammo left in it. Not worry about using the uh, newer one yet.
we're going to need the stone and metal object. We also want to bring the wind crust. Time to plan our next save. our ribbons. With the stone and metal object in hand, it's time to leave the mansion. Also want to bring the wind crust. I'm going to burn out a charge on the door just so that we don't have to run around it. But when you come back to the mansion later, it will actually be fixed at that point regardless. Brought the shotgun and we want to shoot this empty. We've got one bullet left. There's something written in the indentation the defiler of the accursed coffin. Well, I defiled the accursed coffin, and in it was this. That opens this door. But we can't take bullets out of the gun, so we're shooting this shotgun empty. Then we'll switch to the assault. So we got some shotgun shells, but don't want to put them in that gun. Aid spray, but in the corner there is also a battery. Shotgun fires 12 gauge shells, a weapon that is capable of firing wide range. I think I'm forgetting to inspect everything, but 12 gauge shells for the shotgun that scatter fires. It's hard for me to remember what I've examined and what I haven't. First aid spray, a medicinal spray that can heal wounds completely. But I don't think it's a big deal. Out here we have two spinning weather vanes, and there's a switch to lock and unlock them. We want to lock the red one on west. If you get it on the wrong direction, just hit it again to unlock it. It's not a big deal. Barry? little radio cutscene if you got it from uh, Richard, otherwise you wouldn't have that. The blue one, we want to land on north. The idea is to lock these two statues facing away from the path I guess so they don't see you trespassing but when they're facing away from the path that unlocks the gate in here we have some snarling crows now they won't bother you if you're just running between the gates west and east they'll only bother you if you head south near uh, them and the graves something down there that we want however we only have to go get it one time and that's the only time the crows will bother us so they're not worth fighting at all we're just going to risk the damage 
get the item and then get out, and after that they won't bother us anymore. There's something written in this indentation. When the wind sweeps across the earth, stars will shine in the heavens. Use your wind crest. This reveals three new crests. We have moon, star, and sun. We want to uh, stay in the menu here because we got crows on us. But examine each one of these, flip them around. There's a button somewhere. Will you press it? Sure. That causes them to stick out their backs. So this one's got two protruding lines. Just do this for each one. And we have a cross. And three horizontal lines. Now we want to dodge the angry crow and get to the other grave. Or tomb. There's the crow. There's something carved into the indentation. Two vertical lines across and three horizontal lines. Could it be some kind of symbol? All you need to do is put the other crests on here. gun has been placed neatly inside. Will you take the Magnum Revolver? Yes. And then it is time to get out of here. us this magnum revolver is loaded with magnum rounds that's the only time those crows will bother us they're not worth fighting at all just risk the damage get your magnum and get out of there Come to a creepy cabin. Someone lit a fire in here. There's a map of the courtyard. Take it, yes. That shows the areas. We got the map of the courtyard. A family picture. There's a journal left by someone. 19. Daddy attached first, mom attached second. Inside red and slimy, white and hard. Not true, mom, where? Don't know dad. Found mom again. When attached, mommy, she moved no more. She's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. For mom, where I miss you. Okay. It's a typewriter in a box here. Okay, say goodbye to the old shotgun. We don't need that anymore. I want to take that back out, actually. We're going to pack the assault, the shotgun ammo. This is good for now. Add our first aid spray to the pile. All we need right now is the assault and the shotgun shells. Assault shotgun fires 12 gauge shells, a star's custom arsenal, and also Richard's favorite. 
It's better than the regular shotgun and can also carry more ammo. And when you get it, it's fully loaded. Will you take the crank? Yes, if we examine it. The end is shaped like a square. Square crank. Oh, someone's here. Lisa Trevor and you cannot kill her no matter how many rounds you put into her she'll fall down temporarily but just get back up so just get out of there Got a surprise zombie <laughs> crows but like I said just going from gate to gate they won't bother you now the whole point of going out to that cabin was to get the square crank although we got a magnum out of the deal too to Brad. Can you hear me? Shit. It's broken. All right. Might get chewed on here. We got three dogs to deal with. Pack this assault for a reason. We haven't pissed them off yet, so they're a little passive. Uh. Yeah. Immediately get grabbed. <laughs> Stab that some bitch. He's gonna get back up. Yeah, they got me down to caution, but it was gonna happen eventually. Take our herbs. Got a blue now. Herb that grows wild in this region has the same text. Blue can remove poison. So they're gonna start throwing enemies at us that can poison. Elevator down there we can't use for a while. But I would suggest you clear these dogs out. Cause you'll be coming through here a few times and you don't need three dogs chomping at you every time. Our path here is blocked by some water. There's a square shaped hole here. That's what we need this for. You can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. 
Used up all of our daggers, but we have batteries for the stun gun. But moving the water unblocks this area. It does block an area that we will need later. But at the moment, we need to get through here. We have some more crows, but this is the only time the crows are going to be here, so just run by them. You do have to come through here later, but at that point the crows will get run off. They're only going to be here right now. No need to bother with them. Red herb. Go ahead and combine this. We got snakes. Don't want to bother fighting those things. Snakes, along with giant spiders, can poison you. If that happens, just chew on a blue herb. That's what they're for. Got some more blue herbs here. They're stocking us up. This is the guardhouse residence. There's a battery. Typewriter, box, and a gas tank. Drop our stuff off. You'll notice we still have this crank. We will need it again later, but not for a while now. Just throw it up there. Got a ribbon sitting over here. Giant spider. Again, if you get poison, just chew on a blue herb. Now you can see another one camping up there on the uh, top. But that one won't bother you if you don't bother it. So just leave it up there. some stuff to pick up. Shotgun shells. You take the red book. Bandage with blood. First aid box. Herb makes of green and blue. Now that green cannot be combined with a red, because you can only put three herbs together. So the blue is taking up one of those slots. So it can only be a single green, double green, or green plus red. So it would be best to put that one with a red, since one of the slots is eaten by a blue. Time to manage our drugs. Oh, we just want to take those out. 
These are double greens, so now I have another one to splice with them. Triple greens. Red book. It's a book with a red cover. It's a book with a red cover. Nothing is printed on any of the pages. Is there a special way to use it? Yeah, but we don't need it at the moment, so we can go in the box. Shove it up there. I'll take out this red. Let's go ahead and splice these. And then dump this down here with the others. Because that's got a blue on it. Now we want our handgun. and the lighter. This should be good. Now here in the rec room, got three oil lamps. An oil lamp, it's not lit. I want to use the lighter to light them up. A strange silhouette hovers in the reddish light. So we got an eyeball on the bottom. What we want to do is count the eyelashes on each one of these to get a number. So this is zero. We got zero for red. Could it have some kind of meaning? Yes. We're going to want these numbers later. Lighting up the green. Notice on green we have four eyelashes. So now we have four. We're basically going to be piecing together a password here. Okay, this is orange. We've got two eyelashes. So, zero, four, and two. We also need to look at the pool table here with billard balls. We need to look at the same colors. So, red, we got three. Green, we have six. And orange, we have five. Those other colors don't matter. Just green, well, red, green, and orange. So, three, six, and five. We need all six of these numbers. Then we are done in here now. Apparently, I didn't push it far enough. The floor here has holes in it. If you try to walk across it, well, you can walk across it. You'll just get grabbed by plant tentacles in the process, which we don't want to do. So we push that box to the others, and then we can climb over safely. There's a map of the residence. Take it, yes. Lights up these areas. We got the map of the residence. There's a hole in the wall here. Yeah, do not look in that. Just take the map and walk off. No, that wasn't part of our deal. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. What about my family?
Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm all right. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry, I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Okay, on the table here, we've got a note. Plant 42, report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There is a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the Plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey, or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the doors to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this Plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Uh, why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. May 21st, 1998, Henry Sarton. I guess we can go ahead and push these bookshelves. Reveals a ladder, but we're not going down there yet. Here in the bathroom, we can see a key over there. We can take the resident key, yes. Heard the door. All right, you want a nibble? Come on, chomp. I'm just going to give you the stun gun. <laughs> I figured I put enough bullets into him. Oh, come on. Residence key. Number zero zero one is imprinted. Probably wanted you to think that was Barry, <laughs> but the zombie just shows up. But that happens on Chris as well. So with him, you're less likely to be fooled. But 
that was clever with Jill. Because you're like, oh, Barry's back. There's a zombie. You use the key for room 001. There's no further use for this key. Discard it? Yeah. Go ahead and pop that key. Refuel here. Refuel your fuel canteen with kerosene. Okay, it's time to plan our next save. Take the self-defense gun, yes. Suicide note. June 22nd, 1998. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive. But Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually I'll get what's coming to me, though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. We also have some pistol bullets. Self-defense gun. A self-defense gun that fires .22 magnum rounds. One round has been fired already. It's a ghetto magnum. But it comes with one bullet, and that's the only one that you'll ever get. So, you shoot it one time, and that's it. Let's check the bathroom. Probably guess what that sound was. And also in here, a zombie laying down waiting to attack you after you get the key in here. But since we have excess fuel that we don't need, we may as well just go ahead and burn him. If you burn him, he will not get back up. It's full of dirty water. Pull out the plug, yes. There's something inside the bathtub. You take the control room key, yes. You could just grab that key and then run back out. He doesn't really have time to grab you, but like I said, we have extra fuel at the residence that we don't need, so we have nothing to lose by just burning him. It's a key for entering the control room. What did you think the control room key would be for? Notice that body is gone. <laughs> He's over there now. He tries to get you around the corner. That's only an issue, though, if you went into the bathroom first. But you see, I already got the stuff back there, so now I can just totally ignore that guy and run back out. 
That would have been an extra zombie for Jill, but we didn't have to deal with him at all, so I don't know if you really count that. Refill our fuel. We want to leave the residence with two. That way we'll have more at the lab later. Start banking our stuff. Put the acid on the bottom. shoving everything up here somewhere. All we need right now is the control room key. But the way I see it, Jill is still uh, three zombies lower than Chris. You could count that guy as one, but we didn't have to bother with him. Remember not to run through here. There's a ladder here. Climb down? Yes. You can see the zombie in this room was a good one to burn because we have to run through here uh, numerous times. But those other two, I didn't need to bother with. That door there is locked from the other side. a little bridge here. If you manage to get these stuck, you can always leave the room and come back to reset them. But it's pretty simple what you need to do. Expecting to get chomped here, but we made it. You use the control room key. There's no further use for this key. Discard it? Yes. You're actually safe on this uh, platform here. We're out of the water. I got chomped as Chris, but not Jill, even though she runs a little bit slower. So I guess it's just luck, really. Here, we have a first aid box. But... Open this up. 
I've got two green herbs in here. If I had gotten chomped on, I was going to... Uh, I would have eaten this, but since I didn't, I guess we'll just sit on it. Caution, in case of a drop in oil pressure control, open valve number one. We just need to remember that valve number. There's a map of the aqua ring. Take it, yes. It reveals the aqua ring. There's not much to it. Got the map of the aqua ring. Alright, we need to drain the water out of here. An error message is being displayed. Something appears to have gone wrong while the water was being drained. There's a switch to drain the water. Press it? Yes. Emergency! Emergency! Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Pressure shelter is locked. Release the safety. Yes. Safety mechanism for the pressure shelter has been released. There's a control lever for the pressure shelter. Pull it? Yes. Oil pressure lost. Shelter operation terminated. Restore oil pressure, then release the safety. Reaching 30% of pressure control. Here's where we have to hit the uh, valve. These switches control the oil pressure valves. Press which switch? So, number one. Now we need to try again. So hit this. Release the safety. Safety mechanism for the pressure shelter has been released. There's a control lever for the pressure shelter. Pull it. Yes. We had a time limit there once the shark starts trying to break through. With the shutters closed, we are now safe, but we still need to drain the water. Safety has been released. Drain the water? Yes. The water has been completely drained. We'll see how the sharks like that. Take the shotgun shells, yes. This one's being stubborn. That's okay, we got something for it. The generator unit for the water flow control system. Pull the lever down, yes. You take the residence key. Yes, that's what we needed. Residence key. The word gallery is imprinted on it. we can head back. Magnum bullets here.
You unlocked it. This is the other side of that door we ran past. There's a ladder here. Climb up. Yes, of course. pay a visit back to our box. Another herb for the pile. More shotgun bullets. Got some magnum bullets. Let's see. I guess I'll put them here. Now we need to take out that red book. We need the key in the book. Now we're going to the gallery, which I just ran past a minute ago. I could have went ahead and popped the door, but it really didn't matter. You used the gallery key. There's no further use for this key. I discard it? Yes. corpse with a contorted expression of pain on his face. He's holding something. Will you take the insecticide spray? Yes. And then run the hell back out of here. This area is infested. We're about to take care of that problem, no? I'm back to the hole in the wall. Insecticide spray. It's a pump action spray. There's plenty of insecticide inside. I'm trying to read the text. Killer matriarch. <laughs> Problem solved. Pistol bullets here. Red herb back in the corner. You take the residence key. That was right under the damn hive. Take a closer look. Number 003 is imprinted. Use the key for room 003. There's no further use for this key. Discard it? Yes. shelf is lined with red books. There's one white book sandwiched in between them. Take it, yes. Organic Chemistry Lab Experiments. The 
similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations prove correct, when V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within 5 seconds. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. The characteristics of each UMB chemical are as follows. Number 3, red, yellow, 6, yellow, number 7, green, number 10, orange, uh, VP17, blue, V-Jolt, dark brown. The space in between the books catches your attention. Let's insert ours here. The bindings of the book seem to form some kind of pattern. Reorder the books, yes. We have a nice picture here that we want to fix. Fairly easy one. There you go. We don't want to go in there yet, though. You could. Jill has a choice. She can either just go face down the, the uh, giant plant as is, or she can make the poison, which is what we're going to do. Lock mechanism for the door. Use it? Yes. Now here is where we needed the stuff from the uh, rec room earlier. We gotta match these. So this is four eyelashes. The number that we had on that was six. Here we have two, which will be five. Then we have zero be three. We got that from our uh, oil lamps and the pool table balls back at the rec room. All right. It's time to make some V-Jolt. Start by picking up some bottles. We're going to want Number three and water. This is number three. I'll take some. The sink gives us water. Mix these. So this has to be done in a particular order. We want to mix number three with water. So that gives us number four. We need another bottle. Now we're picking up yellow six. We have MP4 and yellow six. We want to mix these. That gives us number 10. Now we need more yellow six. And water. So we have the ten. We need to make seven. So six and water. That makes our seven. Now we take seven and ten. It makes these two. That makes a VP seventeen. Now we just need another three. VP17 and three. There we go. V jolt. It's a distinctively brown liquid. Okay.
Now we need to use it. You can't just throw it at the plant like a grenade. We need to go back to an exposed root in Aqua Ring. There's a door down there that we previously ran past before. And that is where we will use this. Now, we can't run across that bridge we made because the water is drained. But this door is now open. I could just fight the plant without making V Jolt. But we did that with Chris, so... With Jill, we're gonna make the V Jolt. Backtrack through the aqua ring. But Chris can't even make the uh, V jolt. He would have to not save Richard. Then Rebecca would come make the V jolt for him, but you would not get the assault shotgun. Well, Joe, you can get the assault shotgun either way. Richard has nothing to do with the plant on her campaign. She can simply choose to either make the poison or not make the poison. So she can get the shotgun and make beach bolts. Here's where the root is. So just come in here. Probably don't need the bottle anymore. Throw it away? Yes. It's nice enough to throw away uh, bottles that you're sitting on at that point. Okay, we have poison to plant 42. Now let's go face it. It's going to play out a little bit differently this time. did require some busy work backtracking down here but you will see that it was worth the trouble Almost there.
What the hell is this thing? Barry! Jill! It was finished. Yeah. That was close. Thanks again. Don't mention it. But what was that? What the hell's going on in this place? Barry. Something about that mansion still bothers me. But I think I'll stay here a little longer. We should split up again and investigate. All right. Barry's keeping an eye on the surrounding area. Will you take the mansion key? Yes. There's an engraving of a helmet. It's the helmet key. See, that room is still red. I think it's just referring to the bottles, because there's nothing else in there. There you go. And Chris actually has to fight the thing. Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? Barry, you sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. But making a... Bee jolt as Jill... You just don't have to fight at all. Barry shows up and burns it for you. You'd rather fight it, though. You could just not make the poison. Then you'll have to fight it at full health. Alright, I don't have a herb to put this on. Just shove it up here, I guess. Alright, give me my shotgun. I actually gotta take out this thing. I don't want the key yet. Uh, give me my self defense gun as well. Uh, what did I... Here it is. We might want a blue herb, because there's a good chance we're going to get poison on the way back. Alright, this should be good. Time for the next save. A 
box our ribbons. With the helmet key in hand, it's time to head back to the mansion. Now, if you didn't get a radio from Richard earlier, then here at the residence, Wesker would actually give you one. So at this point, you'll have one regardless. Brad, over. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. Doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Brad. Brad? Brad. This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Jill to Brad. Can you hear me? Brad. Brad. Shit. It's broken. I think that was longer than Chris's version, but oh well. Don't have to worry about the crows here anymore. But that's because some dogs have moved in. One's right there. Time to wake his ass up. got both of them. So I think one took two shots, the other one just died on one shot. I'll take it. Now the snakes that were on the west path have now moved over here on this path. It's very hard to get past them here without getting bitten. They will most likely... Well, there's a good chance they'll poison you, but... But I guess I lucked up on that one. I had to blue herb ready, because... I knew I was most likely going to get chomped. And likely get poisoned, too. Use this thing to protect yourself from that bulletproof thing in chains. I went ahead and fixed that piece of crap door, too, Barry. Left us some supplies. Got a battery. First aid spray. And grenades. Go ahead and shove those in there with the others. using those soon because dangerous new enemies have moved into the mansion while we were away. That seems to have done the trick. One round from the self-defense gun. Just wrecked that hunter. How's it going, crows? Now this path here will be useful. Because there are some areas in the mansion we no longer want to go to. Uh, 
there's pairs of hunters patrolling in them, and if we just don't go to those areas, we don't have to deal with them. And the first is going to be the uh, winding corridor on the east side, which is right above the dog corridor. So, the L corridor on the bottom right, that has the two dogs we never fought, the corridor right above it has two hunters. But we've no need to go over there anymore. Another pair of hunters is in the second floor dining hall, right above where we're at now, where the lone zombie and the statue was. So, we simply won't go that way anymore, and we never have to deal with those guys. There's another pair of hunters on the west balcony where the uh, ground herbs are. So if you want to go and use those now, there's two hunters waiting for you out there. It's probably not worth going to unless you're really desperate for healing. So that's six hunters, plus the two dogs, that we will not worry about fighting. Okay. We can chunk that thing. We'll never get any ammo for it again. This blue herb we don't need. What we actually want right now... Of the acid shells. I guess I'll reload you. We'll take out a... Uh... There's a red... I'm gonna be coming up on some greens, but... Yeah, I'll just take that, because we can combine it. Okay. I was gonna take a triple green, but I have a red, and we're going to come up on a... Uh some greens to combine it with anyway. Uh, we don't have to worry about zombies anymore, because all the ones that were in our way, we've already gotten rid of. Now, the helmet key has four doors on it. The first one I am going to hit would be library. This is going to have the giant snake yawn, and this time we have to kill it. Yawn is weak to acid grenades. You use the helmet key. There's the first door. So it is a good time to get those rounds out. And if that's not good enough, I also have the boomstick to finish it off. Want some healing in case I get hurt. But on the second encounter, Yon can no longer poison you, so if you get chomped, you'll just take damage. You'll only get the special poison in the uh, addict over where Richard was. So here, you won't get the poison. Alright, let's go. You can already hear it crawling around. snake. Jill doesn't run quite as fast as Chris. He just tried to bite me. There 
you go. Jan is one of two enemies in the game that is weak to acid grenades. So get out your acid and melt the thing. Still got one round left. I might go ahead and just put that into a damn uh, hunter. <laughs> Will you take the last book, volume two? Yes. What can the words on the cover mean? Eagle of South, Wolf of North. The metal was hidden inside the book. Metal of Wolf. Found inside the last book, volume two. Is there a special way to use it? There's two of those. We'll need the other one. Now that door there doesn't open from either side, so it's useless. We have to head out the way we head in. Oh, I'm trying to de-equip, but I equipped the shotgun. The other enemy that's weak to acid rounds is the final boss. You could save all the acid for him, but we also have the magnum, so I would say just go ahead and give this stack of acid uh, to Jan. And then the rest of the acid we'll find later. We can use that one against the uh, other boss, along with the Magnum. How much inventory space do I have? Yeah, we kind of need to go back to the uh, box. I get turned around or confused easily because of all the goddamn camera angles. So, I'll actually be going in that door next, but we're going to hit the box. healing for the pile. We won't need this for a while. Let's throw it up there somewhere. Forget which one of these we'll need first. caution but I'll be fine if I take another hit we could just heal after that point well I say if it's gonna happen eventually you use the helmet key there's door number two Dagger. Is that equipped? Put that on. Rather have that. Also got some more grenades. I think I'll go ahead and give that remaining acid round to a hunter. It's not that big of a deal. Mail to the Chief of Security. Confidential. Attention Chief of Security. Date July 22nd, 1998. 
X day is drawing up on us. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. 1. Lure stars to the estate and obtain BOW's raw combat data against stars. 2. Collect two embryos of each mutated specimen as samples, excluding the tyrant. Dispose of the tyrant. 3. Ensure complete disposal of the Arkley Laboratory, including all personnel and test animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. When the above procedures are executed, report to Headquarters for further instructions. If for some reason you are unable to execute the procedure by the deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extension number 5691. Good luck, Umbrella Headquarters, Umbrella Inc. Okay, you may notice these two crows watching us. They're not gonna try to kill us or anything like that. All they do is lock the gems whenever they're facing the gems. You may be thinking, what gems? Well, if we turn the light off... Now, you can see on the uh, other big moose heads, we have some gems, so... Whenever an eagle is facing the head on its side, see it flashing, it will lock that gem so that you can't pick it up. So what we want to do, this might be easier if I move this a little bit. We just want to walk a circle to get the eagle to face away from that side and then go for it. A jewel sits in the eye. Would you like to take it out? Yes. You got the yellow gemstone. Alright, we're good on this one. So we walk a circle away from the eagle we want to dupe. See, now it's facing there. And that will give us enough time, hopefully grab the thing. Hey, Jewel sits in the eye. Would you like to take it out? Yes. Got the red gemstone. Now, the red one we need. The yellow one is optional, but we're going for the uh, best ending uh, for the game, and it is used for that one. Now, having taken out the yellow gem... Two hunters are going to jump us in this hall. Let's get rid of them. But they'll only attack if you get the yellow gem. Alright, that's used. Killed that some bitch too. That acid hurts, doesn't it? Explosive grenades are good for these guys. Could use the assault shotgun, which is what Chris has to do, but Joe gets far less ammo for that. Remember the tiger statue here? There's an inscription here, a tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. Well, we now have yellow light. Yellow gemstone is beautifully cut and polished. It will open in the other direction. We get the MO disc. Do not give this thing the red gem, or you just trigger a trap. Which is not a bad one, it's just a snake, but a little snake will pop in here and try and chomp on you. It's beautifully cut and polished. Alright, we want three slots open.
Another hunter will ambush us in here, but not at the moment. It's possible to avoid that one, but I think I'll just go ahead and kill it later. I'm already avoiding six other hunters, so... Use the helmet key. That's our third door. There's something handwritten. It's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting. Not even Sir Spencer. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. There's a ribbon. This room tries to get a little clever. You see, when you first enter, they make it look like the zombie's right in front of you, but it's a mirror, so he's right behind you and about to grab you. <laughs> kind of sneaky. You take the jewelry box, yes. Also have a green herb. Some blue herbs on the floor that can cure poison, but you can't carry them with you. They're like the green herbs on the west balcony. I don't know why you'd ever need to come back to use them. I think I forgot to point out, though, in Chris's campaign, that if you do come back here later, a hunter will actually attack you in this room. But if you come here once then you don't have to deal with it. It only attacks you on a future visit in here. So I guess they use the blue herbs as a trap. Jewelry box. There's a round recession approximately four centimeters in diameter. This is what the red herb is. Or red... The red gem is for. Put that on there. Now we have a little puzzle to do. We gotta put all these crests in that middle there. It can be a little confusing the first time you do it. Oh, come on, I think this is how it goes. Wait, almost had it. There we go. That's it. There is a brooch inside. Brooch. It changed into a key. Emblem key. The key is designed with an emblem of the Spencer family, whose history is as old as Raccoon City. It says emblem key. Well, that's it, huh? Emblem key. Okay. Don't really need to worry about that zombie, though, because not, there's no good reason to come back to this room. You don't need the blue herbs anyway, and you have your own herbs that you can use.
I just blasted it because I could. Didn't have to worry about disposing of the body either, because we won't go back in there. If it wants to turn into a crimson, it can go ahead and do it. Let's see. Might need to visit a box first. But it's close to where we're going. You could just ignore that zombie, grab the box, the green herb, and then run back out. But it was one shotgun bullet. If that didn't kill it, I would have stabbed the son bitch. use the emblem key. There's no further use for this key. Discard it. Well, actually, discarding that freed up another slot, so I think we're good. Got a battery there. Oh. Hold on. There's a switch here. Press it. I'll turn on the light. You take the metal object, yes. Shotgun shells. And a battery. That is it for this room. May have been expecting a note, but... Dialogue, or the uh, text doesn't look that interesting either. Bit more exciting in Chris's version. Oh shit, I totally forgot about those guys. <laughs> yeah, there's two hunters in here. That surprised me. Because I forgot about those guys. That's okay. Actually put the grenade launcher to rest for a while now. MO disc we won't need for a while either. I'm not sure why I'm banking that. I'm just gonna take it right back out. Put my ammo up here. But it matters that much. Yeah, the stuff is piling up. We can combine up these herbs. Alright, this should be good. Kinda tempted to take one of these, just in case I get chomped on. But... I think I'll be fine. Oh, uh, we're also gonna need that key, aren't we? Give me that. I may as well take out all the bullets. So, still got 12 grenades, the explosive one, 6 fire, 
to fuel canteen and when we go to the lab later the fuel tank there will have four so we're good on fuel because we can also use these to burn zombies so we'll have six fuel plus six fire grenades and uh, you actually get more fire grenades at the lab as well so yeah we've got fire taken care of and I think I'm doing pretty good on healing as well Gonna plant our next save. Box our ribbons. Actually gonna take out a full heal because some upcoming enemies might munch on us or goop on us. And Jill's already at yellow caution. We are heading to the last helmet door. Use the helmet key. There's no further use for this key. I discard it, yes. Here in the sliding trap room. We want to push this statue all the way to the back. The walls are trying to crush you, but... It's unlikely to occur unless you just stood there because the room doesn't trap you in it. Unlike a certain other room. So push this all the way to the back. For some reason, it doesn't get stuck when the two walls sandwich it. Oh well. There's a switch here. Press it? Yes. Now we need to push this over before the walls come back. That's it. Got a dagger back here. There's a hole at your feet. You can't see very far into it though. Go down, yes. Will you take the last book, volume one? Of course. Eagle of South, Wolf of North. What can the words on the cover mean? You can probably guess what's in here. A medal was hidden inside the book. Medal of Eagle. Found inside the last book, Volume 1. Is there a special way to use it? Yes. We will need both of these later. So, we already have the other one now. November 29th, 1967. I can't get out. I have tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with formaldehyde and those dark, wet, and eerie caves. What can I do? At first, I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor. It was like reflex. One name came to my mind. Jessica. I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No, I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. November 30th. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. November 31st. It was a dark and damp underground tunnel and another dead end. But even in the darkness, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the last match I had to see what it was. A grave, but deeply engraved into the stone was my name, George Trevor. At that instant, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here and I fell right into their trap. But it's too late now. I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety. 
George Trevor. Well, as it turns out, they wouldn't fare any better. A name is carved into the small gravestone. George Trevor. There's a switch here. Press it. Yes. Now, in this corridor, we're going to have some spiders that aren't really worth fighting. We only have to run through here once, so we're just going to run by and risk the damage. There's a map of the Mansion B1. Take it? Yes. So on the south, there's the door that we need, but the north has the map and uh, also some bullets that we'll get. Coming up here, though, gives the spiders more time to get us. Got the map of the Mansion B1. Here's our ammo, shotgun shells. <laughs> they don't have the fastest of reflexes. But if you did get poisoned by them, there's a blue herb right here you can chew on. And also a red. Okay, got some zombies in here. And these guys we will go ahead and deal with. Come on back here, guys. We're not worried about the bodies, because we won't come back down here. We just need to get by them. There's a dagger. It looks like the power supply for the elevator. The main fuse is blown out. Switch over? Yes. Power supply appears to be functioning again. bullets. You unlocked it. This was the locked door in the kitchen. Now the zombie we left up is still shambling around, but he is in the back near the elevator, not in our way. So Chris has two in here, Jill only has one. Now, if we go ahead and take the elevator now, we could avoid the hunter that's about to ambush me in the hallway here. But I'm already avoiding six other hunters, and I want to free up inventory space, so I'm just going to blast it. also smash this door open so the animation on it is now gone you could just run through up next to the other one. Won't need those for a while. Pistol bullets. Bank this heal for now. And blues can go to the bottom of the pile. This is all we need for right now. But if you avoided killing the kitchen zombie, 
or two for Chris, one for Jill, up until this point, then you didn't have to worry about the bodies. At this point, we could now kill them, because this will be the last time we go in there. We need that elevator. And once you use that, you don't need the kitchen anymore. So simply by leaving them up until this point, we didn't have to be concerned with the bodies. You can see there's an elevator around the corner there. Could get around this guy, but... I just ran past three spiders, so... Let's move on. That body never gets up. How many daggers I got left? Three? Use the elevator, yes. If the shotgun bullet doesn't get them on the first one, stabbing them will usually finish them off. zombies in here. Pick up our green and red herbs. Over here, the knob is broken. It doesn't look like it'll open. That is the big door for the library where we fought the giant snake. So the door never opens. Come on. Does he not see us? Must have walked off. There he is. to go into the supply room here. There's a small chance that they can survive the shotgun dagger combo, but it's rare. Will you take the acid shells? Yes. We also have shotgun bullets. So, if you didn't get the acid from Barry early on, these would be the only acid shells that you've got. But having gotten those... Then we total 12, but I already used those, so we just have another stack here. There's a battery. And here is another battery, a much bigger one. Battery. With this, you can operate the elevator. It doesn't specify which one, but there's only one that needs it. Okay. You unlocked it. This was locked from this side. Having cleared out the zombies in Crimson from this hallway, we don't have them bothering us. Otherwise, you would. Now, remember not to go that way, because that goes to the second floor dining room, where two hunters are waiting. So, we want to avoid them. This hallway, however, is already cleared.
we can combine these. Put that up there. I'm going to want to take out a blue. Square crank. We need the square crank and the battery, but we have to run past some snakes again, which might poison us, so we'll carry a blue herb as well. well let's go. I could have just used the east safe room, but I was running past that one. It didn't matter either way. But that door is uh, smashed open, so you don't have the animation on it anymore. Three ways to get there. We just don't want to use the winding corridor. I usually go through the uh, graveyard and art gallery that has the crows. We already have what we need, so we don't need to go to the box. Well, we could have went to this box instead of the other one. Having already cleared out the dogs, we don't have to deal with them anymore. We are going to have snakes, though. We need to put the water back in here in order to get it out of the waterfall. And I got poisoned. That is why we bought... Well, actually, I'm not poisoned. I just took damage. Put me down into red caution. She got hurt, but she didn't get poisoned. Okay. The battery has been taken out. Well, look what I found. Now we can use this. We're fine. There's not any other enemies that's going to bother us before we uh, can heal, so... Snakes don't do much damage. It was just enough to tick her down to red caution. She was in yellow. We 
I guess I should, should have brought a normal heal instead of the blue herb, but I was expecting the poison. Now we just have to use this again. With the second elevator working, we can get around this pool without having to run through it. The sound of the waterfall seems to have stopped. And that is what we need. Because the water is blocking one of two paths. When you move it from one, you block the other one. This path is now open. There's a ribbon. Now let me heal before I get killed. We actually didn't get poison, so we don't need this. We also don't need this square crank anymore. We can just dump it all the way up there somewhere. Take out our grenades. Well, put this here. This is good. Loaded with grenades. Let's go. Pistol bullets. And some more pistol bullets back here. Is that you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah? You're alive! Stop! Are you with anybody, Jill? No, but why? <sighs> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up! Enrico! <laughs> <sighs> Traitor? Who? I think the camera angles are better with Jill. On Chris's version, it looked like Enrico was about to shoot through Chris, and whoever shot Enrico shot through Chris. But with hers... She didn't seem to be in the way with her version. But on his body, we have another crank. We examine it. The end is shaped like a hexagon. This is the hex crank. 
Okay, let's go. Yeah, just run past that guy. We don't have to come back here, so... There's no need to bother with that one. We got two more in here, though. And these we do want to get rid of. Okay, drop our pistol bullets. Now we want to switch this for the fire rounds. So, we put fire in it, bank the grenade, and acid. It's time to plant our next save. Let's continue. Over here we need to use our hex crank. Green herb. A huge boulder blocks the way. Hmm, I wonder what's gonna happen. <gasps> Behind where the boulder was, got some shotgun shells. We actually need to go where it went, and crash through the wall and open the, uh, next door. It's time to meet the next boss, the Black Tiger. That's it for him, or her. <laughs> you don't have to kill that thing, but we may as well. Black Tiger is weak to fire, so Chris gets the flamethrower. Jill has fire grenades. Here's our generic survival knife. It's a survival knife, it comes in handy in desperate situations. The only area in the game where a knife has any good use. But after killing the black tiger, once you leave the room, the other spider in the room will leave. Other spiders will also try to harass you while the black tiger is in there, but once you kill that one, then leave. They will flee the room after that. Alright. 
we can find that up. Throw this up there with the other one. I switch that back to the regular rounds. If you get poison, use a blue herb. The next room actually has one in it. But all we need right now is the hex creek. Black Tiger is the only enemy that's weak to fire, other than zombies. So it's, well, it's any giant spiders and zombies. But Chris only gets the flamethrower in here. Jill has fire grenades, so she can actually use those on zombies as well. But spiders are weak to fire, so those killed that thing real quick. There's a map of the courtyard, B1. Take it? Yes. There it is. We got the map of the courtyard, B1. Some blue herbs we don't really need, but we'll pick them up. Jill doesn't get the flamethrower, but she has fire grenades, so it doesn't really matter. But if you make the poison for the plant boss, you actually see Barry using it, so... You know what happened to it. If we did not make the poison, then that cutscene would not have happened, and we would have just had to have fought the thing. Barry wouldn't be there. Gotta turn this one three times. Yeah, no surprise there. Again, run to where the boulder came from. We have a first aid box. First aid spray was inside. Another little puzzle room here. We need to get this statue turned around and then put it in the hole. So it's against the wall right now, but using the hex crank here, twice, we can get it off the wall. This disc in the middle of the room will rotate the statue, or you. If you step on it, you'll get turned, and that's kind of a clue what you need to do. see the other statue, so we need to copy that one. There it goes. 
those. You take the cylinder, yes. Cylinder, a circular metal object with a hole in the center. Symbols are carved on its side. Probably guess what those are, but it's clearly missing another piece. you didn't want to fight Black Tiger, you need you just needed to get through that door to get by it. Then you could just run through the doors both directions. The door is webbed, but you could either burn it or cut it. But why use the fire on the door when you could just use the fire on the Black Tiger? as well kill it. On Chris's run, a hunter jumps you when you come back here. When you first enter the Black Tiger room and then you come back here, a hunter ambushes you here. Which you could just go ahead and use the flamethrower on if you have any remaining fuel. You can probably kill Black Tiger and that hunter with the flamethrower before it's empty. But in Jill's run, she doesn't have that hunter. It is not there. More healing for the pile. We don't need this anymore. Throw it up here next to the other one. This is the junk pile up here. All we need right now is the cylinder. Having killed these other hunters, they are not here to bother us on the return visit. Don't have to deal with them. Well, we already deal with them. The elevator's power source. There's a round lid. Open it? Yes. Will you take this shaft? Shaft. It appears to be some sort of key to start the power supply. Symbols are carved in its side. There you go. Cylinder shaft. Symbols are carved inside. Will you turn it? Yes. You don't have to do this, but we will. we turn this enough times, eventually this will line up. That gives us four, two, three, one. There's an empty space for a cylinder shaft inside. Something seems to be missing. Yeah, it's this. Let's put it in. series of flashing buttons. Press one? Yes. Which button will you press? Well, we just saw the order on the shaft, so four, two, three, one. Looks like the power has been restored. There's an elevator switch. Press it. Yes. Jill! Barry? Thank God you're safe. You too, Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here, but I didn't expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out.
What the hell is that sound? It could be a person. Jill, go check it out. We had enough surprises for one day. I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Okay. I'll stay and secure our escape route. Everything should be okay as long as Barry is watching the elevator. We don't need any weapons right now because the only enemy is invulnerable. It's gonna be... yeah, there she is. gonna turn and come this way now, but we're gonna pick up these herbs first. In this middle of the room right here, Lisa Trevor is patrolling in it, and will constantly try to head toward you and smack you. And you cannot kill her. Even if you put a bunch of bullets into her, you'll just knock her down temporarily, which really isn't worth doing. The room is in a circle, so just run the other way. Climb the boxes over here. Have some hidden supplies. Battery. Magnum rounds. And gun bullets. We can combine these. Device for transferring materials. Started up? Yes. That sends the box back to the first room that we were at. Now we need to get back there as well. right there. no way back. Barry, why? <laughs> Barry just bailed on us. These will drop off our stuff. our little lift crate. Garbage compactor. There's a switch. Press it. Yes. You 
take the broken flamethrower. Of course. The muzzle's broken, it can't be fired. Well, it might not have any fuel either, but I didn't say. I don't know if it's empty or not. Okay, we have to dance around Lisa again. She's over here, okay. She's not very fast. luring her. We've got a switch we want to hit here. There's some kind of lever here. Pull it? Yes. Some kind of mechanical hook. It looks like the door will unlock if you put something special on it. Yeah, this. And that's on a timer. You need to hit that switch and then get over here and plant that before it resets. So it's kind of a good idea to move Lisa off of that area and to go around her. And that's a bit more obvious to Chris because he had the flamethrower before with those switches, but Jill didn't. And we have a shrine. Should be able to run through there before the snakes in the water get you. They don't come out of the water, so once you get out the other side, you're good. Will you take the jewelry box? Yes. You got the stone ring. A family picture and notes. There's something written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Progenitor virus administered. Jessica administered virus type A. Plasmolizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion negative. Action disposed. Lisa administered virus type B. Plasmolizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion positive but delayed fusion. Body modification observed constant results. Status continue protective observation. George, action terminated. November 30th. There's a journal left by someone. November 14th. I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me. I don't see mom. Where did they take her? She promised that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? November 15th. I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake, not my real mom. Same face, but different inside. Have to find mom, have to give face back to mother. I got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attach her face to me so she doesn't go away. Because mom's sad when I meet her without her face. November 17th. 197. From inside box, scent of mommy. Maybe true mother there. Stone box heart. It hurts. Still rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. And that is a clue for us later. back here.
This should be familiar. We just came back out at the cavern. Start dropping off our stuff. But the whole point of going down there was to get this stone ring. We need to combine it with the metal object. Stone ring. It's an octagonal ring made from stone. Metal object. An object made from alloy. There's an emblem engraving. This makes the stone a metal object, which is the same as the other one, but we need both. An emblem is carved on the octagonal object. Now we have to hoof it back to the mansion. There's the zombie. <laughs> There's actually more at the Magnum Crypt. Apparently some zombies moved in and ran off the crows. I just run by them. I believe those two zombies there, just like the other graveyard, will not crimson. Although you're unlikely to ever go back there again after this. So it really doesn't matter. Crest fits perfectly in indentation. the indentation. Will you take the stone and metal object? Yes. We're going to need both of those. That does mean that door is now locked, but we don't need it anymore. Time to plant our next save. Box our ribbons. Now that we have two stone and metal objects, we can unlock the last locked door at the mansion. The doorknob has been repaired. may have noticed this door before, back at the main hall, but we could not open it until now.
wonder what's on the other side of this door. There are octagonal indentions to the right and left of the door. So the door outside needed one of these. This one needs two. The two emblems fit neatly into the door. Open it, yes. Now, if for some reason you want to go back to the residence or cabin, you can take those back off because you need to put one back on the other door outside to open it. But I don't have to worry about that. And here we have a box and typewriter. I will go ahead and take out our medals of Eagle and Wolf because we will need them soon. It's time for the final showdown with Lisa Trevor. Jill, you're alive. I was worried, because I thought you were... Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Give the gun back to Barry. Yes, we need to. Thanks, Jill. I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. Barry's got this place covered. Better just hurry on ahead. So, going for the good ending, we need Barry to survive this. If you don't give him his gun back during the cutscene, he'll die in the cutscene. Even after giving him the gun back, he can still get smacked off the side, which will kill him. So we just need to beat this without either of those happening. If you don't give him the gun back, you can use it. And it's a, uh, a better magnum than the one you already have because it's a little bit bigger caliber. But we don't need it. We're going for the best ending. Inside the coffin is a skeleton. Wait, there's something else. A family picture. It's a letter. To my Lisa. Day by day, I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of Mommy's itching go away. Today, they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they give me the shots, Mommy's can think straight, but Mommy's shocked and sad because Mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and Daddy, what your faces look like, how we used to be together. They're all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh, Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now so that I can hold on to our wonderful memories of you and Daddy. 
Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is the next time when we go to that lab together. We'll both pretend that we are both unconscious, and when that man in white clothes is off guard, that will be our chance. When we're on the outside, let's look for Daddy together. Okay, sweetie, be strong, Lisa. November 13th, 1967, Jessica Trevor. Well, there's Jessica. And that is the last we'll see of Lisa as well. Whether she survived jumping off that pit or not, I don't know. There's a large iron door, and it won't budge. Circular depression. There's a wolf-shaped emblem carved inside. Okay, I got the metal of wolf. Circular depression. There's an eagle-shaped emblem carved inside. Use the elevator, yes. The sign reads, will not open unless in a first class emergency. Now in the final area of the game. Box our ribbon. We got some new zombies to burn. And it's helpful to bring two fuel here so that you have six with the new tank, which is right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> First shot. I got plenty of pistol bullets. He is not getting back up. Go ahead and burn him. I'm not going to worry about trying to stack him. I've also got fire grenades, so... I'm not going to be able to see the blood here. <laughs> that body fidgets when you try and burn it. Yeah, if they're not dead, it doesn't let you burn them. <laughs> this zombie's just screwing with me. disc go ahead 
and box these other items. Probably could have gotten a head stomp on that guy, but I got plenty of bullets. He can just get back up if he wants. Blood's coming out. He's done. On the shelf here, opposite of the giant fan, there's a dagger. State box. Two greens. memo on the message board catches your attention. There's something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Researcher's letter. June 8, 1998. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass, but if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then, activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log in the system using my name and your name as the password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded that password into an x-ray picture. A Rin Ro N genogram? I know you, and I'm sure you will be able to work it out without any trouble. There is just one more thing, and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state. But if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of your, out of my misery. I hope you understand. 
Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. John Ada. So we examine these. Amazonic Clock David. And this one. Amazonic Gale Hollum. We just need to put these up on the wall. Space to put it up an X-ray photograph. I want to put Clark on the left. And Gale on the right. If you mess it up, you can just take them back down. Now we'll turn off the light. Some kind of switch. Press it. Yes. Part of it is glowing. So you can see colon. Sarcophagus. Liver. Lungs. And if for some reason you don't know what any of that is, you can look over here on this nice chart. So you see it's labeled colon, esophagus, liver, lung. That gives us a word, C-E-L-L, -L, or cell. That is the third password that we're going to need. He said two of the codes were their names, John and Ada. That was the third one. You can see magnum bullets sitting there. B Act. Researchers note, there is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them V Acts. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Yeah. We've already dealt with that, but it's nice to read about it. There's an item hidden back here, first aid box. Green herb inside. Go ahead and mix that with the other one. We got three now. There's another item in here, and this one you can actually see. That's a battery. Alright, we need to use the computer. John and Ada. All we need to do with this is unlock two doors. So, B2F is one. It wants another password. So this is cell. Here it's showing the door. That's the visual data room. Now we want to unlock the other door. B3F. And that's the other X-Way room, and it did not have a password on it. The third password was for the visual data room. And we're done here.
tapped out the rest of the tank. Honestly, though, I think I might just use fire grenades for the rest of them. So... Combine these up. I'm gonna take out one of these. Piling up all my healing stuff. We can also use fire grenades to burn zombies. We have four rounds and we'll be picking up another six soon. And that's just junk up there. Fire grenades can one hit kill a zombie, then burn it. If they survive the shot, however, the fire will expire and you'd have to hit them again. I would suggest hitting them with something else first to make sure the fire can get the killing hit on them. It needs to finish them off, that way they'll burn. It's locked. If you can just get those levers on the side to work, it should open. Levers for releasing the door locks. Now if you could just release the locks on the levers. That is what the three MO discs are for. We're actually about to use the first one. zombie. I stabbed it and it still took two rounds. Oh well. There's six more fire shells. Go ahead and shove those in there. You take the slide filter, yes. Slide filter. There are red color slides inside, nothing's on it. There's only two zombies left though, and we have eight fire grenades, so... Plus the fire and the uh, canteen, so I think we're good. Packs. To Sanitation Division. Attention, Manager of Sanitation from Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Second concern, our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public dis uh, disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state, police, and stars. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. 
Here we have a weird computer. A security system passcode transmission device. If you had an MO disk, you could transmit the passcode to the system. We do have an MO disk. Okay, have I inspected any of these in this run? Appears to be a disk for rebooting a system of some sort. So there's three of these little computers and three MO disk. You can put any disk in any computer. We just need to hit them all. Transmitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. That is not something that you have to do, but we're going for the best ending, so we want to. That is the first computer that we can hit. Tire the pistol. Take our assault shotgun back out. It's ammo. Keep the fire for the last zombies. Want the slide filter as well. Time to plant our next save. our ribbons. Time to pay a visit to the visual data room. Here we have a first aid spray. MO disc on the shelves here. There's a map of the laboratory. Take it? Sure. Shows the final areas. You got the map of the laboratory. Shotgun shells on this shelf here. Security protocols. Level 1, Heliport, for executive use only. This restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Basement Level 1, Passage to Heliport. Entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. Unauthorized persons entering the heliport will be shot on site. Elevator, the elevator stops during emergencies. Basement Level 2, Visual Data Room. For use by the Special Research Division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keith Irving, Room Manager. Basement Level 3. Prison. Sanitation Division controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant researcher, E. Smith, S. Ross, A. Wesker, must be present if viral use is authorized. A. Wesker, hmm. Triple lock door. Entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all of the passcodes. Accessing the exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researchers deactivates the lock. Power room. In this room, nitro compound is used as the primary fuel source of power. Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. 
This restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization. Passcode output terminals. Use and access of the output terminals is limited to authorized senior researchers. Basement level 4. Regarding the progress of Tyrant after the administration of T-Virus, eligible hereafter. Over here we have a projector. I want to use the slide filter on it. Umbrella Bioorganic Weapon Official Report. MA-39 Cerberus. FI-03 Neptune. MA-121 Hunter T-002 Tyrant Bio-Organic Weapons Research Group Development Staff Now using the slide filter, most of these numbers are removed except 8462. That's what we need. A passcode entry terminal. Use it? Yes. Put that in here. Eight, four, six, two. Will you take the laboratory key? Yes. Let's take a closer look at it. An electrical symbol is imprinted on it. It is the key for the power area. Some sort of image editing equipment. It looks like you can use it to view Kenneth's film. View the film? Sure, why not? was probably his first zombie, too, given how he reacted. But when it comes to the cameras, um, Kenneth was carrying it for Bravo Team. On Alpha Team, Joseph had one. The guy that died outside at the beginning. You use the key for the power area. You use the key for the power area again. There's no further use for this key. Discard it? Yes. It was just for these two doors, and they're right next to one another. There's something crawling around in here. Get out our boomstick. The little bastard was crouched. All right, come on. I was waiting for the other one. Security system passcode transmission device. If you had an MO disk, you could transmit the passcode to the system. Well, I do have an MO disk. Here you go. Transmitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. That's two of them. And we have a battery there.
That gives us a little shortcut back out. Okay, time to burn the last two zombies. Stab them first. Come on. Come up here where we can see you. Get him on camera. Here we have the last safe room. Got a first aid spray. Shotgun, well, grenade shells. Shotgun for Chris, his grenade for her. Ink ribbon. Tire our fire. There's no more zombies left. I'm gonna use the grenade launcher. I mean the regular grenades. We have more giant bugs to fight, which are called shimmeras. Grenade launcher is really good against them, and if we run out of ammunition, we'll start blasting them with the shotgun. We're saving our magnum and acid. This other stuff we don't need anymore. We do need that. Fire grenades are not effective against the, the shimmeras. The explosive grenades, however, are. Yeah, like I said. You equip? Yeah, you did. Just making sure she equipped those. Now, I should mention that if the Shimras are ever crawling on the ceiling, they'll grab you and you can defend against that. So that's an easy target for your uh, daggers, flashes, or stun gun. Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. A refueling device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. There's an empty capsule. Will you take the fuel supply capsule? Sure. We gotta get the power back on. But before we go fill that thing up, let's use the last MO disc and get rid of the rest of the bugs.
here we have the last computer. Just shove the disk into it. The triple lock door is now open. Got a battery here. If there's ever a bug around, you can hear it. Things try to be sneaky. This one's waiting to ambush us at the other door. And another one. Eight rounds left. grenades are not effective against those things. You have to hit them several times. But the explosive grenades... Yeah. That's it for this room. We don't need to be in here yet. I was just getting rid of the bugs. Fire is best against giant spiders and zombies. Acid is best against the giant snake and also tyrant. That's why we're holding on to the rest of those uh, shells. It's rusted shut. So that goes into that other room there, but that door is broken. You can't open from either side. Now we need to restore power to the elevator, which means refueling this capsule and bringing it back. But before we do that, let's go through the triple lock door. It's locked. If you can just get those levers on the side to work, it should open. Levers for releasing the door locks. It looks usable. Pull it? Yes. Guess we'll have to keep doing this. You can probably guess who's in there. If you've already seen or played Chris's campaign. Jill? Chris! You're alive! Of course I'm alive. Jill, there's something big going down, and I don't think we're part of the equation. I have to get you out of here. Ugh, it won't open. Wait, I'll be back to get you out. Okay, no sightseeing though. It's locked. You don't have to come down here right now, 
But I figured I'd get the cutscene. This door is right next to where we need to go anyway. Seems to be something behind this dirty door. Open it? Sure. It looks like a refueling device. Set the capsule into place, yes. You got the fuel supply capsule. The main ingredient of this fuel appears to be nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. Fuel supply capsule. It's the same text. Okay. Alright, now we have to walk this thing back there where we originally picked it up. I say walk for a reason. If you run, this thing will explode. It can also explode if you fire your weapons or get attacked, so... You better have the areas pre-cleared so that there are no enemies to bother you. through the door, I was like, hold on a second, that's not right. Yeah, it's this door. We don't have a time limit, we just need to not explode. It's a little boring, but it doesn't take that long to do. They're trying to screw with you if you didn't clear the areas and left monsters roaming around. Set the capsule into place? Yeah. Okay. Now we need to go to the control room in the back and turn the elevator back on. There's no power to the main elevator. Start it up? Yes. Okay. Time to prepare for the final showdown.
retire the shotgun. Switch out the... We'll just put the magnum here. I want to switch out the grenades for the acid. I'm going to take the magnum and the acid grenades. We're also going to want some healing in case we get fucked up. Still had plenty of ammunition left. Five explosive, six fire, all this ammo. Two fuel in the canteen. We don't care about any of that junk anymore. Yeah, I think I got plenty of healing. But just one or two is probably going to be fine. Plant our last save. our ribbons for the last time. Let's move on. It appears to be the control panel for the elevator. Press the switch. Yes. The elevator is working. Jill. Barry. You could have at least waited up for me. No? Let's go. Shotgun shells there. I'm not gonna worry about picking up the remaining items in the game. We don't need them. We have everything we want right here. Wesker! Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <sighs> you're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl, but I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh! <sighs> Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. It's magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. <laughs> Barry! Forgive... 
Me? No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! together in hell you want a piece of me what premature no Barry you viral cultured freak It makes quick work of it. Barry! Barry! Uh, uh, you're okay. Uh, Jill. Sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. First, let's just get out of here. Barry is alive and comes with you to the lab, then Wesker escapes. Which means I cannot search Wesker's body for the note to read, or the key for the prison cell. But if the key is not here, you actually don't need it. You only need it if it is here. A panel used to release the emergency electronic lock. Release the lock? Yes. The electronic lock has been released. It just means I can't read the note that was on Wesker. Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry. out of here. But before we do, we still need to get Chris out of that cell. Some new bugs will attack you in there, just run past them. Sorry about the wait. So everything's taken care of? Well, almost. Now let's get the hell out of here. Okay, if you go right back into the cell, there's some shotgun shells in there. Chris still has his pistol, apparently. Has been activated. All personnel must be activated immediately. 
Come on, let's go. These two doors are right next to one another, so the bugs don't even have a chance to get you. Having taken Barry to the lab, that means that the Tyrant is going to show up for another fight. And Barry will then have another opportunity to die in that fight. Shotgun bullets and a green herb in the case there. This is Brad. I'm running out of fuel. If there's anyone alive, contact me now or just give me a sign. I repeat, this is your last chance. Take the fuse unit, yes. The self destruct system has been activated. All fuse unit. It's an assembly of many large fuses. It's rated for high currents of electricity. The elevator isn't receiving power. The fuse unit is missing. Well, look what I just found. Three minutes to detonation. Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, you just get in contact with Brad! No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Chris! Would you let me have my moments too? All right. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. have a time limit. Will you take the signal rockets? Yes. Signal rockets. Player rockets. I can signal Brad with these. Well, let's fire them. gonna get hit right after I pick this up. Can you take the rocket launcher? Yes. <laughs> oh well. Rocket launcher. A very destructive weapon that fires rockets with a large blast radius. Wow. I 
one hit put her in red caution. I'll go ahead and use one of these, I guess. Alright, let's let him have it. That is it for Jill's campaign and Resident Evil 1. Jill, you did a fine job. There's our score sheet. Now it is time to move on to Resident Evil 2.